my friends. Happy Friday Eve day to everybody. We've got Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter all right here with us today. Be sure when you comment to tell us your name so we can see that it's you. We are using a streaming service through StreamYard and it won't show your name unless you give it permission. So go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook or StreamYard.com forward slash LinkedIn. Give it permission to see your name. So when you comment, Stephanie, Stephanie and I will know that it's you. You guys, I'm so excited. We have a treat for you today. My friend, Coach Stephanie Ferrara is here today with us. Now that makes her sound like some sort of sports coach. No, she's a coach like me. Um, but when I when I hear that when I say Coach Stephanie Ferrara, immediately I'm like, no, she's not. You know, whistle and clipboard. Although she can get that. <laughs> you guys, she is one of the most positive and faithful people that I am blessed to call my friend. We're going to be talking about all things group coaching. So if you're thinking about joining a group coaching program, um, if you're thinking, or if you're thinking about starting your own group coaching program, today is for you. But first, I always like to introduce myself. If you're new to me and this is the first time you've ever seen me, I'm Tracy Beavers. I am your business and sales coach. And my passion is helping you, the small business owner, solopreneur, salesperson, get through all the parts of your business that are causing you overwhelm, causing you frustration, causing you to not be able to move forward toward the goal you want to achieve, whether it's a project you've had sitting on your desk for four months because you just can't get to it. Or it's that you want to get to your second stage of growth in your business and you just aren't sure exactly how to get there. These are the things that I do. I come alongside my clients. I create a roadmap, literally mapping out what you need to do to get you where you want to go. And it is so much fun. And because we've got to make sure that everything that we're doing every day as business owners is actually going to grow our income. Otherwise, why are we doing this crazy thing, right? Because it's a roller coaster. And so many of you, and it, many of you have reached out to set up one-to-one um, -one private coaching. I'm so excited about that. I have a few spots left before now in the end of the year, and I'm so excited to walk alongside you and support you. And others of you have reached out to schedule information calls to find out what coaching is all about. What's the big deal? Why do I need this? And that's where I can ask you, what is it you need in your business? And we can figure out how we can work together. If you're here live, I want you to type live in the chat. Always love to have people here with us live. But if you're catching the replay, there's no shame in that game. We love replay. Type replay in the chat and comment and say hello because those comments really make us happy when we see them. So and before we get started, um, it is always helpful for coaches like Stephanie and I to know what our clients want and need. If you're thinking about group coaching for you, would you type the word group in the comments for us? And if you are one of those um, individuals who prefers private one on one coaching with your coach, would you type private in the comments? That really helps um, when we're trying to figure out what how to best serve the people that we want to serve. It's so helpful to have that information. And I'm going to check really quick and make sure we're streaming. Yes, we are. I can see us. Awesome. So we appreciate you guys and all the comments that you leave us. So let's dive in. We're going to talk about group coaching, what it is, what it isn't. What does it look like, feel like, all the things? So I'm going to introduce Stephanie. She's become one of my business besties these past few months. We are both consultants with our local small business center. So we get to guide small business owners just like you on how to build their businesses so they can maximize their income. And we've been supporting each other and cheering each other on, lifting each other up when needed. And if you don't have a business bestie, go get one. Like, not right now, because I want you to be on the live with us. But after this, I want you to think through who could be someone that you could partner with in business because it makes all the difference. So let me introduce Stephanie. She is a business development coach to women ready to create and market online group programs. Stephanie firmly believes that we all have a gift given to us by God that we were meant to share with the world. I believe this, too. She helps you turn your passion into an authentic and profitable business that reflects who you are at your core and puts service first. I love that. She teaches people how to lead with their heart. She helps you develop the strong foundation for a healthy, thriving, God-driven business while building group coaching programs and online courses. And her mission is to help women start and grow their businesses so they can enjoy this life, right? So they can have time for their family and reach more people and help more people with those gifts that they've been given. 
So Stephanie, I'm so excited. I want you to tell us about you. I want you to tell us about your journey um, as a coach. How, what brought you to this coaching thing that we're doing? And I want you to fill in the gaps because I know I probably didn't do do it justice. What all you do? It was perfect. It was perfect. So hopefully my heart my heart has calmed down and my breathing has calmed down. I was actually just on a call with one of my clients. And she needed to celebrate and she was struggling how to celebrate. So we did a little dance party to celebrate and thank God for the, the idea that he had given her and uh, that seed that he planted in her. And so it was a lot of fun. We jumped up and down and everything. I think I have calmed down now. So That's awesome. Hopefully I won't be talking too fast just to keep no, up with my own breath. <laughs> she said that she didn't know how to celebrate because like you said, we need to celebrate this. And she said, I just move yeah. on to the next thing. I don't celebrate. And I was exactly. like. Oh my exactly. Gosh. Yes. Yeah. What a great yeah. reminder. We're going to celebrate little things. We're going to celebrate big things. Like, don't wait for the big launch that worked as perfectly as you hoped it would, like, or the big sale or whatever. Like, don't wait for that. Celebrate that, like, you figured out MailChimp or whatever, you know, like, MailChimp. <laughs> you sent your first email to your list. You have people on your list. Like, learn to celebrate the little things along the way because it makes business a whole lot more fun. It does. <laughs> Well, and I totally interrupted you. So go ahead and tell us oh, about you. Tell fine. us more about you're you. Fine. Yes. So I'm so excited to be here. Thank you, Tracy, for having me um, on today. And I look forward to just answering whatever questions your audience has, getting to know your audience a little bit better, too. Um, so definitely take advantage of, of, of the chat and drop things in um, as we go. So a little background on me. I I will say grew up through the ranks of project management um, in the financial services industry and insurance industry and uh, went from a business analyst uh, testing system, a loan system uh, to managing pretty big projects, system conversions, things like that. And um, one year around 2015, I was working from home and um Every time I would get off of a call, I would get this little bit more of a download from God of this other thing that I was going to be doing. And so um, <laughs> thankfully, I was at home that week. It was like there was there was quiet. He could talk to me. Right. Yes. And so <laughs> so my living room walls were full of flip chart paper. And every time I would get off of one of my meetings, more information would come and I would just go write it down on the flip chart paper. And at the end, like, I don't know, I had like nine flip charts across the walls in my living room and I'm looking and it was a whole business plan for group coaching. Wow. And I didn't know what a coach was at the time. So, right. Right. Um, so I'm like, what will I be doing? And it was like life coaching, business coaching. I'm like, what is that? Right. I didn't know what it was. Um, you know, I'd heard the terms flipped, you know, said, but I didn't, I'm like, what do I, what do I do with people? Right. What do you mean? Um, and he was very specific that it would be group coaching. And Got so, it. um, so of course that set me off on the path of, of researching, like what is a life coach? What is a business coach? Mm -hmm. I had been a business consultant before, right? So I had done contract work, been a consultant for a bank before. Mm -hmm. Um, but so it's like, what's the difference between a consultant and a coach? Mm -hmm. oh, a consultant does things. They're responsible. They go and make things happen, right? Right. Nice. Uh, the coach just says, this is what we need to do and gives direction and advises and things like that. So, okay, I got that. Okay. That's going to be hard because I like the doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what's, what, what was, um, I will say a little bit frustrating, but also a little bit cool. It was actually two years before this dream, this this business plan came together. Mm -hmm. um, actually, got a chance to happen, mm -hmm. and so for two years, I was still going into the office every day at the insurance company I worked at. I was managing web projects and and integrations with other insurance carriers and things like that, and just doing my thing. And but every day, I walked into the office and I was like, "Okay, God, I know I'm still here today." Yeah. You gave me this plan, right? Obviously, I'm not there yet because there's something I need to learn. So can we learn it quickly? Because I'm ready right. to move. Right? <laughs> ready to go. Teach me what I need to know. If this is training ground, cool. I'm good with that. Help right. me learn fast, right? And so then in 2017, I had a major accident. And through my recovery, I realized now is the time. <sighs> through my recovery, it was like, now is the time. I'm not going to go back to my corporate job. Yeah. Now is the time to start my business. 
And so um, at that time, I took some training to help with the the content, right? What am I going to actually coach women on? I knew I was going to be coaching women in business. Um, I had spent years and years and years in network marketing. So that was my foray into business. I had a couple of my own businesses, uh, like uh, product-based businesses, retail Mm-hmm. businesses where I was, you know, buying wholesale and trying to sell things and stuff. And so I had that kind of experience. Mm-hmm. I knew that like I had this entrepreneurial gene in me, like there was, I was born to do this. Right. Right. Um, but needed to figure out how and, and, and mm-hmm. help along, the, you know, and that kind of those steps along the way. And so as part of that, um, you had the group in the training that I was in, we had some individual coaching calls and we had a group. Uh-huh. I got to learn a little bit about how that group worked. And then I had previous to that, I had been in a coaching group. Um, I would call it, it was called an inner circle. It was more like a, it was a membership, uh-huh. um, low, low level $37 membership packed full of training. Yeah. And she did group calls like once a month and things like that. But there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people in there. Yeah. And that's tough. So like for me to like try to raise my hand on a call, like you had to be quick on the phone, right? Like <laughs> this wasn't video calls at that time. These were all, you know, conference calls. And so you had to be quick to do that star six or whatever yeah. to raise your hand or whatever it was, you know, <laughs> star two, you know, that kind of stuff. And so I will say for me as an introvert, mm-hmm. I was okay with that because I usually didn't have a question. Right, right. You know, because I needed to just absorb and listen, and I absolutely loved that. Right. Um, and usually, like somebody would ask a question, I'm like, "That's a fantastic question." Yeah. Wish I had thought of that. I need to know that, right? Wish I right. thought to ask that. Right. And so I did learn that that was that was helpful. You know, mm-hmm. to to have that group dynamic where other people were asking mm-hmm. questions. Yeah. Um, and so it really supported me from the aspect of the, the introvert that I am. Right. And. <laughs> And so, um, so then, then I kind of set off on my own. So when I started this, this business, I really did set off on my own a bit. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, I, I have a little bit under my belt. I've done the coaching or the training yeah. to you know, be certified as a business coach mm-hmm. um, and money mindset coach. And so I had that training. But part of the thing that was missing there was the promotion. Like, how do you really promote and all of that kind of stuff? So I'm doing what I think I know I need to do based on what I learned through network marketing. Yeah. And kind of did okay. Yeah. Kind of not, right. Right. <laughs> right. right. And, um, and so really, um, at some point I had the realization I need my own coach. I need to, yeah. to seek out and, and find a coach. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's funny because it's like, but I'm a coach, so I'm supposed to know everything. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do not have to know everything to be a coach. Right. Right. Um, and I do believe that everybody needs a coach. So yeah. Just, just like your professional athletes and your Olympic, you know, Olympians, they all have a coach, even though they're like the top, the top, the top. They all have somebody that can look from the outside. Right. See, like, look in. They can see the, the, the blind spots that you have. They can mm-hmm. see like. Um, I know I listen for certain words that my clients use and I'll let them tell their story. And I'm like, okay, let's go back to this that you said yeah. like two minutes ago. Right. We need to explore that. Cause I think right. there's something you're believing there. That's not yeah. true. Did you start <laughs> your coaching business then in 2017. I, I guess officially 2018, but I took on a few clients um, early mm-hmm. or I started my training in 2017. Yeah. And then early 2018, I took on my first few clients. Awesome. Um, and you have a group, group coaching program now. I do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I have Kingdom Biz Incubator right now. And that is my group coaching program. Yeah. Um, I have it set up as a membership. Um, okay. But it's not a $37 membership. Like you need to be invested in your, your business. Right. Um, and it needs to be important to you. Right. So it's, it's not that $37 that you just don't even think about and you forget for months to even go into the group. No, you're going to participate. (laughs) You know, you and I have talked before about all the options that we want to give our clients when it comes to coaching. And there is a space for the $37 offer. But just as you said, the problem with that is when someone offers a low ticket like that, they have to have a massive amount of people 
to right. take advantage of it in order to sustain their income. Right. Yeah, exactly. And so that's the mis- that's the mistake I see with that that end of the spectrum. When someone is doing group coaching at a very low ticket mm-hmm. price point, it does allow a lot of people to take advantage of it. But those people are probably not going to get the help they need. And that's where coaches like you and I are a little different that we really want our people to succeed. We really yes. want them to have that transformation and to build that business. Um, so, you know, I'm develop- I'm working on developing my group coaching program for 2022 and mm-hmm. I'm kind of looking at what you're doing and, you know, you and I have some other colleagues in the, um, in the space. I'm looking yeah. at what you're doing at all- also, but let's start with a super basic question. For the people that are listening that don't even really understand what, have never heard of group coaching, um, can you tell us, give us an idea, what does it look like? Are there different variations of it? And what does your um, incubator look like for your group coaching program? Sure, sure. So there are some, I, I would say some different variations for sure, but overall you're gonna find these basic components, okay? so. When I say there are variations, I will classify group coaching and memberships very much the the same. Yeah. Um, the structure is just one has as has a like finite start and end date, mm-hmm. and the other maybe like always members can be coming in at any time. They can cancel at any time. That kind of thing. There's no contract. Things like that. So, right. But basically, within inside the program, mm-hmm. um, it's going to be fairly similar. Mm-hmm. Now. You generally, there is some um, some type of course. Uh, mm-hmm. There is pre-recorded trainings that that are there and available for you to watch. Uh-huh. Depending on the program, um, like there might be a set schedule that this is what we're doing this week. There might be a plan to it. Yeah. Some of them, it's a little more of a free for all. <laughs> um, here's all the things available. Take what you need, and right. then. And then Generally, then there are one or two coach coaching calls a month. That'll be mm-hmm. everybody who can attend, get on the call. Um, as a coach, you should have at least 15, 20 minutes of training mm-hmm. at each of those calls. Um, even if the c- intention of the call is just that it's for Q&A, whatever questions mm-hmm. anybody has, because right. if it's crickets, right. you want to still deliver something that day. <laughs> so, so always have some kind of training that you can go through that will start the ball rolling on your, your members having questions on your Got participants it. having questions. Got it. Um, but that's basically like, that's basically it. Everybody is coming to the call together mm-hmm. for training for, to get their questions answered. Right. But generally there is a, there is an underlying course um, or recorded trainings mm-hmm for you to take in between those calls so that you can continue to move, move forward. And then you're, then it, that, that training should generate questions that you come to the call with. Got it. Yes. Yeah. That sounds very familiar to me for the the group coaching programs that I've been in also. Um, Do you have the, is it, do you feel like once a week calls are good? Do you feel like twice a month? Do you feel like once a month or does it just really depend on the group itself? I think it it depends on the group and the in the material. So you know, if it's a group coaching program that's that's maybe fitness related or something like that, you may want to do something weekly so that there's mm-hmm. there's some tracking, there's some accountability each week. Got but it. you need to then price for a weekly call, okay? Yes. Because yes. your time is valuable. So right. <laughs> so generally, though, it's going to be one or two calls a, a month. Uh-huh. Um, I like two calls because mm-hmm. I, have, I like to have one. Yeah, and then this is how I run run it within the Kingdom Biz Incubator. I have one call that that one is a training call. I'm coming and we're going to do some training. There's always time at the end for any kind of Q and A, and I will stay as long as my members need to get their questions answered. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second call is generally set up for strictly Q and A. Mm-hmm. Come with your questions. Come. It's going to be hot seats. If you if you have a website that you're working on, you've created a page. Let's let's jump on. Let's look at it together. Right. Um, let me give you feedback, that kind of thing. Or if you're creating right. a coaching program, let's look at the outline. Let's mm-hmm. figure out what you're doing. Give you feedback. Right. So right. that awesome. one is reserved to be more open and fluid. But I always come with a little bit of training just in case nobody has questions. Got, I've got it. Love it. <laughs> so, um, 
because I asked this question at the beginning of our live, some clients I've, I've heard from some of my clients that they feel like private one-on-one -on -one coaching is the only way to go, that that's the only format that's really going to serve them. So what would you say to someone that's thinking that and maybe a little gun shy about being in a group setting? What are some of the benefits to being in a group coaching program versus the one-to-one -one private client where it's just you and your coach? So this is, this is the first thing and I may offend a few people. That's okay. The statement. Truth bomb. Do but it. I, truth bomb. I think that that um, there is an amount amount of pride and fear wrapped up in, um, and and mm -hmm. nobody can serve me because I'm unique. So I can only you know, you have to be able to address my specific questions. Okay. Wow. So I think those are the three things that keep somebody okay. in private. Now there is a place for private coaching. I have private coaching as well. Yes. Place. My private clients are allowed to come and join my group coaching calls though. And they are part of the group as well so that right. they get the benefits of that too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, <laughs> but this is what I, this is what I've found with somebody. It's um, <laughs> this my, okay. So this is an analogy I can give you to me. It's like a recovering addict that says you can't help me unless you've been exactly in my shoes where I am and taking the drugs I've taken. Okay. Yeah. And that's false too. Right. So, <laughs> so, right. So that's how I look at it. So there's, like I said, there's a bit of pride. There's a bit of fear because yeah. fear is like, I don't want to sound stupid when I ask questions, but if I'm just asking you, mm -hmm. then it doesn't sound stupid. Right. And nobody knows my dirt. Nobody knows, nobody, my... nobody knows what I don't know. Right. Right. Nobody's hearing what I'm afraid of. Right. Nobody's hearing where I'm having a breakdown. Mm -hmm. Like, so there's that. Okay. Yeah. So that's the fear of like really like being found out that maybe I'm not as good as I am or something. Like, I don't know, you know, we all have that, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, we all do. I mean, it's, it's, um, you know, in group coaching settings, it can be vulnerable it can um, be. to say, you know, I don't understand the website format that I'm using or, mm -hmm. or, um, you know, I need to send out an email sequence and I have no clue what to say, or, you know, then there's the, I'm overwhelmed and I'm beginning to think I'm not going to be successful. You know, there's right. that whole right. mindset thing that goes on too with people. And that's hard to admit in a group, but what would be like, I think I know, I know the answer to this, but I'm, um, the community aspect of it. Tell yeah. me, um, the benefits there, like, um, when we are sharing information back and forth and best practices and ideas. So this is, yeah. So this is the great part about group coaching is that, you get more than just your coach. Yeah. You you get this community of people mm -hmm. that are on a similar journey to you. Mm -hmm. They have the same fears that you do. Mm -hmm. They're struggling a lot in the same ways or they have already overcome that struggle. Yeah. Maybe they're a little farther along, but they've been there. Mm -hmm. And so you actually get more support yeah. than you do in a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where you meet, you know, once a, once a week for 30 to 45 minutes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of group, a lot of private coaching rather, you know, like, you know, there's no communication in between. It's just, we're on the call and we're, we're off. Like, here's your homework. We right. Begin, right. Right. So others have some communication in between and that's great. Mm -hmm. um, but, but you miss out on understanding that you're not alone. Yes. <laughs> but you're not alone. Right. And so, Allowing Huge. yourself to be vulnerable in the group and the group has to learn to be comfortable with each other, right? Yeah. You got to have that first person who will go ahead and share and be willing there's, to. There's always got to be that one person that steps up and goes, oh, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. And then everyone else yeah. says, I don't either. Oh my gosh, I don't either. Thank you so much for asking, right? Exactly. Right. You know, thank you so much for asking. I thought it was just me that couldn't right. figure this out. Right. And so one, that's the job of the coach to make them feel comfortable enough to ask. Yes, for sure. For They're, sure. You know, to really reiterate on every single call and then go, you know, go live in your group and, and ask questions. Where are you struggling today? Like right. you be the one to generate the conversation as the coach. Mm -hmm. And so that they make me share your own vulnerabilities. Yes. If, if you spent all day trying to figure something out, like go in your group and share y'all. I was in Kajabi and I was trying to build this thing. And I was, there was one thing I could not get it to work. Finally, right. you know, like finally, miraculously, boom, 
it did it or whatever. Or I called yeah. support, whatever. but sharing your own like struggles mm -hmm. opens it up that like, we're not Absolutely. perfect either as the coach. We're, we're, we're going to run into troubles. We run into yeah. our own mindset issues, you oh, know, sure. each, each level and things like that. And sharing mm -hmm. that with your group. I think that's one of the things that in groups that I've been in, those are the ones that create way more of a connection within the whole group. Yeah. When the coach is also vulnerable with you. Yeah. And human. Yeah, for and sure. Human. Yeah. So tell me, okay, this will be fun because uh, what is the worst <laughs> group coaching program you've ever been a part of and what made it not a good fit? Like the $37 one sounds pretty bad to me. So, right. So like I loved the, wo the woman. I love her personality. I still follow her. Like I've kind of gone in and out of her group as I knew that there was, like, she has training on that. Let me get in it again mm -hmm. and do some stuff and then come back out. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think the worst ones that I have been in have been those that are so huge. Yeah. That really the, the coach, like I'm coming in to get coached by the coach, but yes. the the coach is really just a facilitator uh -huh. um, of the pre-recorded materials already in there and less of a coach. Yeah. So, I um, so I was in another program that has all of these different master classes and you can take anything that you want. And there's like hundreds of them. Yeah. Well, I felt lost in that one yeah. too. And then she had, you know, like she had opportunities for mm -hmm. calls and things like that, but the, there was no clear path that mm -hmm. I found for the material itself. Got it, it was more of a free for all, whatever you need, go find it. It's like, well, what if I don't know what I need? Exactly. And that's what I was going to say about my worst coaching experience was exactly that. The, there was all kinds of material in the library, but I don't know what I don't know. Yeah. And I'm a beginner. So her program actually, in hindsight, was really good for someone who was already established and going and had some done some things and tried some things, right. knew the lingo, knew the language and all that, and kind of had a direction on where they were going. But for someone like me, who was just starting out, it was like, wait a minute, I don't know what I don't know. Yeah. I need to, you know, the online space can be very enormous. Um, what's the best group coaching program that you've ever been a part of and what made it really good? So the best one that I was a part of was the one that I spent a year and a half, actually, like I was in it for, for six months and uh -huh. decided to renew. It was a, you know, a group coaching program, not a membership. So it was, you know, there was six months and then she changed it to a year because she realized that like in six months, you're really just getting your bearings, yeah. especially if you're starting from scratch. Yeah. And so, so she changed her program to a year. So yeah. I was in it for a year and a half and that one really was so good. We had three three coaching calls a month mm -hmm. with the coach. Yeah. And she would stay on for any question. She always had training and then yeah. she would stay on. She brought in guest experts. She had a she has several other coaches within the program too to support in different areas where maybe, you know, instead of saying I'm the be all, you know, end all be all, it's all my knowledge. Right. She had other coaches in there to support with copy, with Facebook ads, with um, you know, with um uh blogging and things like that. So, um, so that was really good too. And um, the community that was built within that, you know, yes, like I became really good friends with several of the ladies in there and we still stay in touch. Like, you know, one of them, we're besties as well. We hold each other accountable every week. Like we text each other. What, what are you doing this week? What are you doing? Okay. And then she'll check in with, in with me. Okay. You said you were going to have this done by this date. Is it done? So like right. we're fixing each other now. Right. The biggest thing within that though, is that even though she had like all these modules, there was an order, a path, there was direction. There was a framework yeah. you were going through. Got and it. so start at module one, right? Yeah. It was, and then do module two. It wasn't, <laughs> you know, it was, which sounds like crazy. Like, well, of course, but there are a lot of programs. It's like, here's everything, right. find what you need. Yeah. Right? yeah. And, and so that's where you feel lost. But right. if, when there's a framework, that's what works best. So that's what I've done within my program. It's like, mm -hmm. I have a lot and you may not need everything, but right. at least do steps one through four in order. Right. <laughs> like that's the thing. At least do one one through four before you right. ever get to anything else. Do those first. Even if it's validating something you've already done, like you feel you already know who your ideal client is, mm -hmm. go through the the niche clarity module 
just to validate. You might get more clear. You might get a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me, so I know we have some um, members in our audience that are thinking about doing a group coaching program, joining a group coaching program Mm -hmm. as a student. So what are some things that these business owners need to look for, ask? What are some red flags of some that where they, if they see this or that, they, they, they need to kind of take a step back and go, wait a minute, that might not be a good fit for me. I mean, um, I know what my answers are going to be, but I'm anxious to hear what yours are. Sure. Um, so I think a lot of that um, is, you know, get on the call. If you weren't sure, if there, if it is, if you aren't quite clear mm-hmm. how it's, if, especially if you're like an analytical type and you need to know how yeah. is this delivered? Right. What are the expectations? Right. All of that. Mm-hmm. Ask to jump on a call. Yeah. Most coaches are going to have either, either they'll have a team that you can talk to or you'll be talking directly to them. Right. And, and ask your questions. How much access do I actually have to you? Are you in the group? Yes. Or are you only on the call? Are and you other the people? Name? On the mark on this on the logo yeah that was yeah yes. yeah that's huge. like are you because that's one of them i know that that um i've seen as well is that that you have the coach and you're wanting to get coached by them and they're like we have this facebook group and you can ask all your questions but right. the coach isn't the one answering and that's who you really came to get coached by exactly. you know they have ad they have you know administrators within there that are giving you right. either canned answers and things like that or, you know, and some of that's true, like, you know, point to a module, like we, that's taught in this, go watch that module again. Mm-hmm. That's fine. As a coach, like you should do that, like remind yeah. them that you've given right. them that training, right? right? So go use what they have, then right. come and ask questions if you've done it kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I think the the big red flags are, are really, um, for me, if it seems like it's just so big that yes. you're going to be just, you're just lost in there mm-hmm. and you're working on your own, but right. within a group you know, right. within a Facebook group, but you're on your own. Right. Um, that's the biggest one. To yeah, me. me too. That would be a big red flag for me as well. I would, I want to know, like, how much time do I get with the person that I'm signing up with? Because right. what I have seen is exactly what you're saying. Some of us have group coaching programs where we are the coach and mm-hmm. we want to meet with our people and we want to be in there helping them with everything. And other coaches I've seen, it's been kind of disappointing to me when I've joined the program you get maybe 10 minutes a month with that actual person that right. you up with. And then you have their team, which are, they're great people, but yeah. I don't know that. So I think those are important questions for people to ask is what is the format? What, what is there a roadmap system? Is there somebody to guide me when I get stuck? What happens when I have questions and that kind of thing. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. And so one last question, cause I know we're, we're almost, um, we're actually, we're over 12, but that's fine. We're, we're going, going along, but it's all such good information. Um, one last question that I want to ask you, and I get this one a lot, and I know you probably do also. Why would a business owner need a coach? Why do you hire one? What's the big deal? Um, you know, I, you know, I've already talked about, I'm a coach. So Mm -hmm. you would think I could coach myself. I can't, I can't. I need a coach to come alongside me to take everything that's in my brain and make sense of it for me because I'm in it. I'm, I'm literally, and that's, that's the big thing is we, we are, we are in it. We're in our own mess. We're in our own muck. We're in our own stuckness. We're in our own stories. Mm -hmm. Um, And a lot of times the, the coach is there to help you more with what's happening inside here. Yeah. And with the, the strategies are usually in the pre-recorded, you know, trainings, right? Mm-hmm. The strategies are there. Right. And it's, it's what's happening in here mm-hmm. around our beliefs, around our, um, our fears, uh-huh. around our, like I said, our stories mm-hmm. and the story, like I'm going to, I'll give, I'll give an example. So yes. um, one of, so one of, yeah. So one of my clients, um, she's one of my private clients and she came to me because she's like, I have a life coach. I have a business coach that's helping me with this mastermind that I have going on and, and everything. Uh, And, and I've done therapy and I really like, I really don't want therapy. That's not what I'm trying. She's like, really? I need help with time management. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we meet the first time Mm -hmm. and I'm like, tell me your life, right? Not, you're like, not like from birth, your life story, but tell me what your life looks like. Right. 
and she's describing it and everything. And so I'm like, okay, so you came at, she came asking for how do, how do I get everything done that I want done? Right. 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 She has, she's got her hands in a whole lot of things. She's an amazing woman. Mm -hmm. And, but she feels frazzled all the time because there's all of the to do's are up in here or mm -hmm. they're on a list, but mm -hmm. you know, there's all, all the standard things <laughs> that make us feel all frazzled and stressed. Yes. So I'm um, so like my approach for her, my first thing was, all right, here's a worksheet. Uh -huh. And it's like, oh, a worksheet. No, so <laughs> here's, basically here is a single day calendar. Mm -hmm. And I want you to print seven of them and plan your week, right? Yeah, yeah, I do that. Okay. I do that right. It yeah. sounds, it, right, okay. So it sounds normal uh -huh. to some of us. Right. And to others, it, so for her, that like made her skin crawl. You're going to box me in. What if I, what if I want to do something else? Right. What if that doesn't fit in that box that we put it in when they time block, you know? Yep. And so that's where as a coach and where if she was taking a self-study program, mm -hmm. okay, she was taking just an online course and there was no coach involved, mm -hmm. she would get the time management tactics, but not the mindset pieces. Right, right, right. Okay. So yeah. she would get the tactics, which would say, here, print this off, mm -hmm. put time for you, then put time, those things that can't move, your recurring appointments, your you know meetings with students and things like that. Right. And then fill in the rest of the places with the things that you need to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. she would look at that and say, sounds great. Throw it in the trash. Exactly. I don't want to do it. I don't yeah. want to do it. Sure. So we got to get into why. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, and the creative and creativity from. that comes of it too. Like, because yes, you can download the worksheets and listen to somebody tell you how to do it. But then she's looking at her schedule and she's like, well, what if this and what if that? And, and you know, sometimes we can be an all or nothing, especially yes. when it comes to time management. And it's yes. like, well, if I don't have three hours blocked off to do this project, then I'm just not even going to start. Well, right. that's where your coach can come alongside you and go, hang on a second. Do you have one extra hour, three days in a row or three mm -hmm. days that week? Or maybe two hours on this day and one 30 minutes on this day? You know, let's not have an all or nothing mentality. Let's. Right creatively figure out the problem and a way to make it work for you. Yeah. And so for her, yeah. one of the things was also, she grew up with a very regimented mother. Ah, Everything was scheduled. Every moment of the day was scheduled. And she's like, yeah. as an adult, I can look back on that and I can say, I appreciate it because she got me everywhere I needed to go. And right. I got to do all the activities I wanted to do, right. but everything was on a schedule. Yeah. And so now I don't want to schedule. I'm like right. that's why things don't get done for you. Yeah. It's like, sure. <laughs> you know no, no seriously um the thing is you're like it can be still be flexible mm -hmm. just because you put i'm going to do this between 1 and 2 p.m mm -hmm. you know one learn to hold yourself in integrity to your own appointments that's a big one yeah it is you like to move the things that are our work and we'll keep client work right where it is right so right. anyway but her thing it's like if it was me being able to see and help her dig into where does that fear of scheduling yourself come from? Exactly. What was the benefit of coaching? Right. Yeah. And being and, and giving her permission to move things mm -hmm. if they needed to. Right. Right. Because right. you didn't have permission as a child. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. So you get to move it. So, mm -hmm. But once you've moved it twice, we need to question your priority on it. Yes. But yes. you can move it. Yeah. You know, if, and, and you, I said, part of it's learning. So mm -hmm. the, the work, the, like the, the sheet that I have, you schedule the things out. And then if you move it, you have to put why. Yeah. You have to oh, write down why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really interesting. And it's like, don't, ju you don't have to judge yourself on why, just write why. The why is like negative. It's like not negative. The, the why is neutral. Right. Mm -hmm. But you get to then see why you moved things around. And is right. there a pattern? You get to see what you're doing. And so, yeah. Cool. So anyway, well, so yeah, not this is time management training. training, but that is, but that was that mm -hmm. that happens through that one-on-one -on -one interaction. That happens through the coaching. Yeah. More than it happens through just you know listening to a video and going trying to implement it yourself. Right. Right. I love that. Um, so that brings me to my next question: Is where can people find you? I know you've got an awesome Facebook group, and you do some trainings too. So tell us how can people connect with you. 
Yes. So you can look up um, for trainings, Empowered Creativity Show on YouTube. Just go search it. Um, and then also, I love hanging on on Instagram right now. I'm having fun with reels. I'm embarrassing my daughter. It's, <laughs> it's what we do. <laughs> That's your job. Yep. She really doesn't like that I do them, but whatever. You know. <laughs> but I'm having fun out there. So I'm at Good. Coach Stephanie Ferrara out on Instagram. Actually, kind of anywhere you can find me. LinkedIn, Facebook, yeah. at Coach Stephanie Ferrara. Love it. Love it. Okay, you guys, this was so needed for me. It's a great refresher and a validation of why I do what I do as a coach. And I know that this information about group coaching was helpful to you guys as well, because I know some of you have been thinking about joining a group and being within a group coaching program. Um, thank you, Stephanie, so much. We're going to check the comments um, and see you know, if there's any questions that we need to answer. If you're catching this on replay and you have questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in there. I'll be watching. I know my assistant, Jill, will be watching as well, and Stephanie will be too. So I hope today was as impactful for you as it was for me. I always want to know what you think. I always want to know what you want to learn, what you want to hear more about, because I want to bring value to you as a business owner and be of service to you. So if you're loving this content, save it in your favorites, create your own library of awesome videos that you can go back to and refer to anytime. And I say this every single week, but don't go it alone. Being a business owner, being an entrepreneur is hard. Some days everybody wants to buy what you're selling and other days nobody even wants to know your name. And if you think you're alone, you're not. Everybody has days where they feel like they are walking through mud. And that is where we have to band together, shore each other up and keep moving forward. And if you're catching this on my business page on LinkedIn um, or on YouTube, join us in our collaborative, supportive community, the Facebook group called Be a Confident Entrepreneur. Jump in, make yourself at home, introduce yourself, network with all the members in there. We've got about 700 people in the group now and watching the networking has been amazing. So here's what I want you to do right now. After we end the broadcast, I want you to go to tracybeavers.com forward slash referral machine. Grab my free guide that will tell you how to gain new clients every week with ease. I give several free and low cost ways that you can implement starting today. It's tracybeavers.com forward slash referral machine. So I'm going to go over to StreamYard and just see. Um, I don't see any comments yet, but that's OK. Stephanie, thank you again. You know, I admire you as a coach and I love that we have we have connected and we're able to support each other. And I know how much you bless the women in your programs. Your work is so, so important. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. You are so great. You're so you're so great. You are so great. I'm so great. <laughs> you are so welcome. All right, everybody. I want you to have a great balance of the week. Tomorrow is Friday. And remember when one of us rise, we all rise together. So let's keep cheering each other on.